Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at QuickBook Self Employed for resellers. Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Patrick, I'm a qualified chartered accountant and also I'm a certified UK QuickBooks trainer. Now in one of the earlier videos I did, we looked at how QuickBooks can be used for UK resellers and the biggest amount of comments I got back from that is what about if I was a little bit smaller and what about if as a UK reseller I was more in line with kind of part-time work, I only did a little bit on the side, is there any other software I could use? Now for that, the one piece of software we're going to look at today is QuickBooks Self-Employed. So please, you know, consider that if you're a full-time reseller or you're doing quite a few transactions, it's quite complex in the way that you're doing with it, do revisit my last video and look at how QuickBooks, the full version of QuickBooks can be used. But if you're using UK reselling as just to supplement some income or it's a part-time job or you're not really having that many transactions going through, then consider QuickBooks Self-Employed as a perfect solution for you. Now, one of the key differences between QuickBooks and QuickBooks Self-Employed is QuickBooks itself is designed for full-blown bookkeeping. And what I mean by that is at the end of it, you're going to get a profit and loss account and a balance sheet and a trial balance. That's going to be really useful for generating things like limited company accounts and so trader accounts and more complicated accounting issues. Whereas QuickBooks Self-Employed strips away all of that complication and just gives you a really useful way for you as a business owner to be able to quickly record a transaction, to record an expense or record some income. One other key difference of QuickBooks Self-Employed versus QuickBooks is at the very end of a tax year, QuickBooks Self-Employed gives you all the tools you need to actually file your tax return directly in the software itself. So if you do need to complete a tax return just because you're doing a bit of extra income through UK reselling, then QB Self-Employed could be an ideal for you because once you've compiled your actual records for a particular year you can then use QuickBooks Self-Employed and just file it directly from there in terms of your tax return. It's going to incorporate everything else you may be having outside so if you've got a, a part-time job or a full-time job as well you can actually put all that information into the software as well and then when you submit your tax return, you're going to be confident everything's been included. As an accountant, I obviously prefer the QuickBooks full version, the QuickBooks Online full version, uh, because it gives me a lot more chances for me to make my work more efficient for clients and everything else. But QuickBooks Self-Employed definitely has a place for the UK resale market. And I think that today we're going to have a look at that. And then that should give you an indication of which one works for you. Do you need the full version or do you need Self-Employed? It doesn't matter which version you do use, do get in touch with me because I'll be able to sort you out with your very own license, far, far more cost effective than going anywhere else. So, OK, then with that in mind, let's have a look at the software then and see what we can use it for. So first and foremost, as soon as you log in, you'll notice we're given a dashboard. The dashboard itself is designed to give you a nice indication of how your business is doing. So in this case, it's prompting you on top if there's anything you should be doing, first of all, before you compile your tax return and before you're actually ready to start putting information in there. It's giving you a breakdown of how you did in the last three months or so. Now, I don't particularly use this file, so that's why there's nothing actually included in any of these items here. And it also tells you how much money that you should have on you at this point in time. And it's going to give you an indication if this is up to date or not, because it's a real good indication to know if you've included everything. You'd expect there to be a, a figure there that you would think uh, you'd be considered as correct. So in this case, it's telling me I've got £1,379 of cash. Clearly, that's probably not going to be correct. So it might be something I want to look into. One of the advantages of using an online service like QuickBooks Self-Employed is the ability to actually connect your bank account, your credit card account, and other accounts that might be worthwhile looking at. So this is where you do have the opportunity to add items to it. And that's going to make your life easier in terms of putting that information into QuickBooks. 
There's also a mileage tracker built directly in, and we're going to explore how that works and what that looks like. And there's an opportunity for you to send invoices from here if you need to. But the key of QuickBooks Self-Employed is it strips away a lot of complication for you. So from a transaction view, it's just going to talk about every other type of transaction you can think of. It's going to let you know if there's any issues here. So in this particular one, it's telling me that I need to reconnect my bank account, which it will just prompt me of how to do that. It then gives me a chance to see transactions that have come through. And then I get to deal with those transactions. And it's a really a case of you'll see a transaction. You'll have to basically say if it's business or it's personal. And then you just explain what that was related to. And it's as simplified as that. There's no complication here in terms of having to worry about is that a, a, an allowable expense or not allowable expense or does it relate to this? It, all that complication is taken away. This strips it all the way down to a really simplified version. Because it's all online as well, you're getting that opportunity to utilize where various ways in which you can interact with the data. So there is the option to connect bank accounts as we said there's option to use your mobile phone to be able to implement and put most of your data in there as well the mileage tracker on here is really really useful it's the idea that you can go in there and you can see what mileage has been done and you can deal with it accordingly now i'll show you that when we come to the app itself but it's a really useful way and here's your way of looking at what mileage has been done at any point in time taxes give you an indication of how you feel like your tax return is going and as i said you can actually file the tax return directly from here so i could look at previous tax years I can see what sort of income and expenditure has gone through on that and then I can actually file it directly into um, HMRC itself or I can actually go through from here and pass the information onto an accountant if I need to. Reports wise it's going to let you know if there's any mileage and look at the mileage there, profit and loss, shows you what receipts that you've actually taken copies of as you've been going through using QuickBooks Self-Employed and then there's also a tax summary which is going to give you a way of being able to look at and put it into uh, your tax information to various other places if needed. There's also a whole invoice tracker if you need it. So if you're going to be using QuickBooks to raise an invoice that you want to want to pay for at a later date, this can be used directly in here. And it can just mean that you can track that and see if anyone's actually due to pay you or anything else. So in this case, I've got Adwin Co. who has been overdue by more than 90 days, a £450. And then I can either send a reminder or I can mark as paid or even delete it if needed. So that's the website version of QuickBooks Self-Employed, but to be honest, most of the time you won't be using that work version. The key part of it is how user-friendly it is on the mobile. So as an example of this, let's have a look and see that mobile app. And as I jump into there, it's gonna ask for Face ID and get me logged into the same sort of details. Now, just like when we were looking there, we're gonna be seeing the same sort of answers and questions are gonna be coming up. So it's going to tell me that I've got made what profit I've made. So if I've kept this up to date, it's going to be letting me making sure my UK reselling op operation is actually working as intended. Mileage, it's going to see if there is any mileage that's come through, or if there's anything we need to consider, and if there's any invoices outstanding. It's going to let me know any bank account balances I've got, or if I've got anything to do with things like credit cards or anything like that that's connected. I'll be able to see those transactions coming through as well. And it's really user friendly. The idea is there's this green plus button at the bottom down there. And the idea is as soon as I press that button, it gives me the opportunity to quickly do something. So this is all about income versus expenditure. So if I create an invoice, I get to create an invoice directly from here, even using Siri shortcuts if I need to. I, all I need to do is add a customer, either add a brand new one or pick an existing one, and say that I've sold something. So in this case, I'm going to do IT services add and add that transaction in then I can say how the payment details are so how they would actually make a payment for me and then once I've done that I can create that invoice directly from here now ideally invoicing is all about you're sending an invoice out and then they'll pay later so you don't necessarily have to use invoicing for UK reselling you could just record the incomes coming into the bank account so like your paypal transactions have come in for example and you could just record that as your income that's probably going to be the most efficient way of doing it but if you do have anything like cash transactions or anything else then you might want to consider doing these manual transactions here so for example here i could say that that invoice has been paid market is paid and i can even say that it's been paid into my cash account accordingly 
Also, when it talks about transactions, the nice thing about transactions is these are coming directly from my bank account. Again, it's prompting me there's an issue and it's asking me should I actually fix that issue. But it doesn't matter what the transaction is, I literally go into it. I get to ask to say if it's business or if it's personal or if it's split, so maybe some of it's business, some of it's personal. I get to click on business and say what the type of transaction is. And they're all laid out for me here so I can just pick which one it's going to be. And you just have to pigeonhole to the best of your ability. And you can even create a rule of this so that every time it sees that transaction, you could say deal with that transaction in the same way. So on this one, this could be power to my, um, to my storage unit. So I'd probably want that to be rent utilities insurance. I want to create a rule every time it sees Scottish power coming in automatically going to put it there for me make it nice and easy i have the option to attach a receipt as well so if i can find that particular transaction literally take a photo of it and i know this is a different transaction but i could take a photo and add it there as well so that makes actually adding bank transactions really easy to quickbooks because as they feed through you just allocate them to what they need to be and as your income comes in as well you'll allocate that income accordingly what about if you just incurred an expense though and then maybe it's cash or whatever it's going to be and you just want to quickly record it while you're out and about well that's where snap receipt comes in really useful so from here i can snap receipt take a photo of it then i can adjust that photo accordingly crop it use this photo and as quickly as that i've now got a new transaction into QuickBooks. Now QuickBooks isn't going to ask me to write out what that transaction is or uh, say how much that transaction was related to. What it's going to use is a technology called OCR, so Optical Character Rec Recognition, to actually read that transaction on your behalf. It's going to find it and bring that in. in. And as an example of that, if I go all the way to the bottom of this list, I've got some Byron transactions here, where if I click into the Byron, you can see that it's read that it was 28th of January 2018, 31st, uh, £31.25p. Then it's asking me what to do with it. So I could say this was business and this was entertaining. I can even create a rule that every time it sees a Byron receipt to do that with it. And I can even view the actual receipt itself. So if I view this, this was taken and, and uploaded to... Um, QuickBooks a while ago so as you can see there was that transaction just put directly in and then I can save it now one other thing that's really useful when you're doing it this way is record retention so if you were doing this manually you would be required to make sure you keep your records for seven years and all that other stuff that goes with it and you'd have to keep files of those rec records going forward but actually if you're doing the electronic version like we've just shown here this is an enough for HMRC to be able to take that information and be able to mean that if they did have to do an investigation for whatever reason they'd have everything they need directly from here. Mileage is also a really really useful one. Now what my mileage is all about is that when you go into the mileage section it's automatically turned on and the idea here is that all you have to do to record mileage is you jump in your car and then it's going to know that you're moving from A to B. And then the idea is that once it's found those transactions, all you need to do then is have a look. So I'm going to filter from a previous tax year. You'll have the option then to have a look at all these transactions. And it's just about you reviewing them and saying, are they business or are they personal? And these transactions automatically get recorded. And then it's up to you to go through and pick the ones in there that you would say are business or personal. Finally, from here, from the phone itself, you get that same functionality of being able to do your tax return directly in here. And it gives you the opportunity to go through, make sure you're happy with them, add some basic information like if you're single or married and your personal allowance. You can put in there some PYE income so you can estimate it so it's going forward. And you can also put some allowances like working from home. It's a really useful way of just being able to give you an opportunity to see roughly what your tax return is going to be and then you also have the opportunity to file it directly from here at a different time as well. Other functionality on here that you know sometimes underutilized is the ask an assistant option and here you get the opportunity to even use it like a Siri device and you could say 
what's my income for this particular period or whatever the question is going to be and that way that information can come up to you more fluidly without you having to dig into reports you can just ask QuickBooks and it's going to give you the answer. So there we have it that's a real quick look at QuickBooks self-employed it's really useful for small UK resellers who just need that little bit of extra income and just want to record that extra income as appropriately. Now one of the other things that's useful about using software like this is just how efficient it is to quickly get that information into the software that means if you do have an accountant, they can advise you if you need to, or you can see yourself how it's going. The tax system in the UK can be quite complicated. So there are certain situations where it's better off for you to be a typical type of business compared to another. So limited versus sole trader. But this gives you an opportunity to see all that data in pretty much real time. So the idea is there's no surprises later down the line when you're doing a tax return and you see how much tax you've got to pay. The idea is that if you've already kept on to date of it, it up to date with it, the system can see that and give you an estimate of what your tax bills are going to be and hopefully then you're prepared for it when it comes around to paying those taxes. I'm a big advocate of QuickBooks and I know there are other ones out in the market that we're more than happy to look at as well. But really the idea is if you connect your bank account, you connect your PayPal account, you take photos of things while you're around, use the mileage tracker to make sure you're claiming for business miles, you're going to make your life a lot easier in terms of getting those tax returns filed way before the deadline, get them all up to date, and then when it comes to the deadline of making payment, you have no nasty surprises, and hopefully you can pay them more comfortably in the future. Well, that's been me. I've been here to help you make sure you get the best out of the software. And if there's any more questions or anything, remember the comment box down below or reach out to me on Twitter, whatever's easier for you. And if there's anything else you want me to look at from a UK real, real sale, reseller point of view, I'm more than happy to do my bit. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Now I can be a fighter. I can be a fighter. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's feeling new Even if we're staying back My heart is saying yeah, yeah.